Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 14 and 15 of Yes, Pretty Cure 5. So let's go ahead and get started on episode 14. And 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> it's just rain. I I mean, like I thought you would have went into like Nosebeen's lap or something. No, you weren't. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, like, your your club isn't really going to have budget like that. Well, maybe, you know, Rin, you could just take the money from your job, from your parents, and then, you know, use it for that to buy soccer balls. I mean, I understand, like, why not only Rin, but everyone else is currently mad at Cotton, but, like, it, it's what they, it, it, it's already done. You can't be pissed about that. I mean, okay, it was already set in stone before Rin and the girls made that club. It's almost like, okay, this is, <laughs> think about like any situation where it's like, okay, you have two choices of this that you do, uh, to do something. Let's say I was cooking something and I cook something that is instant and I'm like, okay, I'm going to cook two things instead of one because I'm like, I, I'm like, instead of me cooking one now and the other one later, cook them both together and then it's already there. But somebody tells me, no, cook one now and then cook the other one on a different day when you want it. And I'm like, okay, to me that makes no sense when it's already all cooked. Or like if I wanted um, my, a certain, certain thing to go my way. It's either your way or the highway or it's this or it's that. And then next thing you know, you get too many cooks in the kitchen or when you are making a movie from a sequel. And it's like, okay, we want to take this movie and we want to make it even better than the first movie. Then that movie sucks because you don't know what in the world you wanted to do with it. Because is it like, not only is it a superhero movie, is it a love story? Is it an origin story? Is it this, this, that, and the third? We never knew. AKA The Amazing Spider-Man 2. But mm -hmm. mm. well, damn, everybody have budget problems today. Yeah.
Catherine, don't be mad. See, haven't y'all eat? I haven't eaten dinner yet. I I can't. We came home at like four o'clock in the afternoon. I went. We went out to the mall and stuff. But uh, I've been spending time with my mom, watching TV with her and everything. And I just started recording like literally an hour ago, and I'm hungry too. <laughs> Maybe I should make my instant yakisoba at that, or I might eat me a chicken sandwich or chicken nuggets. <laughs> we know. Isn't there like some way that you can do something? your girlfriend. Tell your girlfriend your feelings. Mm. Mm. Maybe like, what is the smart thing to do? I mean, Sometimes the smart thing to do ain't always the best thing, but... You would be eating. But sometimes she can't do everything. Come on, she's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, because you can't ask any more of your stewardess, assistants, or anyone to come out and do it for you, right? That's also like when you have to cut certain things out of your life, like certain foods and stuff. And just like, damn, when will I get to eat this again? Probably never. <laughs> like, how you eat it one last time? <laughs> I can't with the girl in the background. <sighs> Probably, you know, maybe younger me was laughing at that crap too. <laughs> Excuse me. What's a smart, you yeah. know? No, no, I mean, you can't let that. Also, can we talk about this episode has no nuts in it yet? Like, where, where is my my son? Uh, I mean, you know what? Not even my son. He has bundle. I mean, like, shit. <laughs> you know, this is just reminding me how much I don't like bugs. Like, seriously. I don't like bugs. I don't like spiders. I don't like mosquitoes. I don't like any type. The only type of bug I like is a ladybug and a butterfly. That's it. But, like, I don't want to see one, someone looking like a damn praying mantis. Is that what that thing is? Like, oh, my God. <laughs> no. God, no. Please, no. Like, no. No. <laughs> I don't like bugs. I can't stand bugs. Like, if I see a bug, if I see a spider, I just kill it. I don't scream. Thank God I don't scream. I may, like, make a face, and I'll just be like, We did it. Like, it's gone. But, like, no. I, mm -mm. Not one with nature. That's why another reason why I could never go camping. 
Even if you paid me a million dollars, two million, three million, ten, maybe ten million. If you say, if you can stay in the forest for five, three to five hours, I give you ten million dollars. Hell yeah, I'd do it. But if you were like, yeah, you can do it for free, I'd be like, no. No. <laughs> for money, yes. Yes. But for free, no. Mm -mm. I, I, <laughs> I've been like, this is... <laughs> oh, but if it was money. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, like, nuts is not even in this episode yet. We're almost done with this. And after this will be on 15 and I'll be done for the night. Nuts better be in 15. I, I just, you know, I, I like seeing Coco. My chunks. Like, oh. <sighs> I think we need to read some Trunks fanfiction tonight. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> dream. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>
Talk about that at the end when we get to the credits. <laughs> hmm? I I know, like in the lab. But yeah, I mean, like, the little, the brooch or pendant, they had the same one. Oh, look at the yakisoba. Wait! Can't we at least share, like, one at a time? Hmm. I mean, seriously, you should have called it, you should have grabbed it beforehand! <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> but yeah, let's talk about Komachi today. I mean, honestly, she shined in this. I mean, the way that she was like, she technically really didn't go off. Like, she gave me, like, freaking Miu Mento slash Miu Zakuro vibes. Like, even though, like, she she gives me, like, Miu Mint, I mean, not Miu Mint, Miu Lettuce vibes, like, anytime when she talks because she is such a soft-spoken character and person. So, of course, she's gonna have, like, the cutest thing. But when she is passionate about something, she will, like, go, like, <laughs> zero to a hundred in a second but even though it wasn't something she wasn't really passionate about but because she values the friendship and the relationship of cotton it's still going to be just as important to her even if it wasn't something that she wasn't it, 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 it god damn it i can't say fuck <laughs> it would be as important as something that she was um that was important to her, basically. So no matter what, I mean, but that just tells you that in their relationship, they're just so fucking sweet together. Even though they're not, you know, dating, you know, they, they're cute. They're so fucking cute. Like, oh, I can't. Like, oh my god. Like, the ship is real. Like, uh, before mom and mom and dad, <laughs> you got me I can't with these two. Oh god, you can't with them sometimes though, right? I don't know why, but that's kind of giving me, okay. You know that one episode in Sailor Moon where, like, literally Usagi, Rei, um, Amy or Ami, and, um, Lita or Makoto all got sick, and Chibiusa and, um, <laughs> my best girl Minika Aino, <laughs> you know, told Aino, um, nurse them back to hell. <laughs> That was the best episode ever, strictly for both those two characters, even though it's like, hey, you know, hey, like, you, you can't, mm -mm. you can't nurse anybody to help for the damn. <laughs> and, and it was worse because in the end, like, me, <laughs> me and I get sick at the end of the episode, you feel so bad for her, be like, damn, you did all that just to get sick, like, oh, baby, like, oh, God, that just reminds me of, like, the times, even now, with, like, COVID-esque and shit, where my mom got sick, I had to take care of her, and usually 50 out of 50, even when I was a little kid, and my mom or my dad got sick, 
50 out of 50. Um, if one of us got sick and, like, the other two took care of, like, the person who got sick, 50 out of 50, either both of us, it could be me and my mom, me and my dad, or just one of us would get sick. And, and just, oh. It was, uh, not the best time, especially when, at the time when my mom was working, um, <laughs> at a, <laughs> at an elementary school. So, you know, when you have little kids, they're like, and then you're like, yeah! God, no, kid, don't do that. Like, no. Uh, that's why I hate cold and flu season. It's just so bad. And even with corona, it's worse. Even though we're kind of, like, settling down into it. But still, it is still high. And I'm, like, every day I'm over here, like, got a mask on. <laughs> but go ahead and pause this video. And I'll see you guys in one second for episode 15. Okay, episode 15 and 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, shoes are nice. Beautiful. A really nice arrangement. <laughs> no. See, you know what I really want to see eventually in the future for Pretty Cure? Like, the moms of, like, the that generation of Pretty Cure, like, when they were kids and such. It would be really nice. That in between also having, like, an all high school group. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I love it when we get to have, like, a Pretty Cure series where it's usually two or three middle school students and then two high schoolers but it would be really nice to see like one season with nothing but high schooler students now i understand them being like no we're never going to see college kids because you know that the target demographic audience is little kids um but it would be nice you know one day to just say hey you know here's some high school students and all five or three or two are all high school students but you know hey like, for an example, <laughs> when Bendity came out, we had nothing but high school students in that. And I was like, you know what, one day we're going to get a series with a whole bunch of girls in it that are going to come in, that's going to come to EN. And, you know, these girls are probably going to be in college and I'm going to, like, see myself in them because they're older and they're not high school students. And then finally, D4DJ gave me my two best bands, well, units, Mermaid and Rondo and they're college students and they're like really they're they're nineteen twenty but they're still around my age and I was like yes yes like let's go oh my god but even though Idol Master gives me that edge because Cinderella Girls has girls from like what eight years old or five years old up to like thirty something years old but yeah. Yeah, not really feeling well. Yeah, but you need to eat too. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Leave it to nose me. This just instantly reminds me of the one episode in Tropical Rouge where 
they were making their own lunch, and Manasu made the lunch and everything for her mom, and they made dinner together and ate dinner. Like, ah, it was so cute. <laughs> they didn't cover it in your training? I mean, hey, that's better than working a register. Hmm. That was mean. Poor baby. Because she's already sick enough. She doesn't need anyone else getting sick. Oh my god, and you didn't clean it up? Oh my god, girl! God. And I thought I was bad. <laughs> Is that the dryer or the washing machine? Well, at least it stopped. I feel like somebody is probably doing a count of how many times I fangirl over nuts. <laughs> probably versus Coco. <laughs> we all know nuts is winning. <laughs> Well, knows me as mom is sick, so she, you know. Well, knows me and has to take care of it. And we all know Nozamine is a big old klutz, so, you know, almost every pink pretty gear is a freaking klutz. This is why we can't have nice things.
Yes. Oh my god, it's burning! Me, the first time when I learned how to cook <laughs> or tried to cook. It's really about pacing yourself and cleaning. No, no, Zemin. In the dairy section. I'm hungry. <laughs> We're almost done though. We got how many more minutes left before we're done with this episode? We got 12. I can make it. We can do this so I can eat. Yeah! Food! Because, of course, you did klutzy things when you were younger. To make sure you don't mess up on anything. I'm just saying, because you know, ooh. <laughs> A 
Is there still anybody else in the store, though, besides them? I can't. No. I mean, okay, yeah, I get that, but seriously, why would they want to do that? Because, I mean, yes, good guys really don't want to give the bad guys certain things, because, I mean, that's just going to make the situation worse. Sad day. Mm. Okay, get the eggs. Go. Hopefully your mom feels better.
Kind of like you two, right? <laughs> Seriously, like, but yeah, to animation, you want to make a pretty girl with the generation of the moms? Oh, God. Oh, honey. Oh. <laughs> Exactly. No, when it comes to you guys, mm -mm. God, that this just reminds me of when I was younger, and I was like, "Yeah, I'll help you cook, or no, I'll cook." Like, you want to know what the worst thing I did? Oh, my God. Because, okay. I I was cooking chicken. This is when I was still eating meat at the time. Years before I decided we decided to become vegan or vegetarian. Um, I wanted to make chicken, cheesy chicken rice. Um, so I cooked the chicken. Added, it was frozen chicken. Added in my seasoning. Added in water. And I put, it was in a glass, really nice um, rim, I mean, container that you put in the oven, of course. My dumb butt took it out of the oven, put it under the sink, immediately put cold water in it. And because I forgot, I was like, when you put something that's cold or hot with something that is cold, it's going to break. That thing went pow. And I was just like, oh my god. I was so stressed. And I was like, Deja. My mom looked at me like I was dumbfounded. I was like, I'm never doing this again. And such. Um, like, okay, I love cooking spaghetti. Spaghetti, nachos, whatever, are always like my favorite things. I hate, like, when you go to Walmart or Target and you get, like, a certain spaghetti. And there's not enough, like, um, flavor in it. Like, especially if you get something that like prego or ragu because ragu has some spaghetti sauce and such but specifically like ragu or prego or even the oh my god what's the name of that one series spaghetti sauce um i don't remember but it's in a can <laughs> That's why you're being an asshole today. Not even today, next week. But continuing, as I said, there's this one can pasta sauce that's in a can. And I used to, we used to use that a lot. And it would never, like, give the pasta sauce, like, 
that oomph that I needed until you like added more stuff in it. And that's almost like the same thing with every pasta sauce because of course pasta sauce is not always going to be the same as like others and it's like that. But until I like saw not only like name brand stuff but also great value versions at Walmart and sometimes the great value ones are a hell of a lot better than the brand name ones. I'm just saying that's just me. Um because sometimes there's even more flavor. But like yeah I get it. Like I, I really enjoyed this episode out of the two. To see, like, one of the characters' moms get sick, especially it being Nozomi's mom, it, it just gives you those feels of, like, any time when you, as a kid, you were sick, and then, you know, the roles are, uh, the roles are reversed, and you were taking care of a parent when they're sick, and how you have to do everything. Because I remember there was times where my parents got sick, and my, either my mom and I, or my dad and I had to cook and, you know, make sure everything was okay for her or for him, making sure he had enough, uh, they had enough of anything, make sure they got an, a lot of rest. It is a little sometimes stressful, but, you know, the best thing is that, you know, they, they get better and that, you know, you're happy when they get better because when someone's sick, it, it's, it's bad and it's sometimes even a little stressful especially with like covid even now like it, it's so upsetting and a family member gets positive tested positive for it or even just gets regularly sick or even shows symptoms because it, it's fucked up and such and so it, there are times like there have been like two times out of now that my mom has been tested positive i got tested positive and i knew i was going to get sick because my mom got sick but I didn't show any symptoms and such and I got over it very quickly same thing with my mom but I, I think it's just because I had a better immune system as her um but it even till today it's freaking crazy what the hell that's going on in the world but like this was a really cute episode and I think we all really needed it after like huh, the, the the year <laughs> going on another year that we are having with COVID but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 14 and 15 of yes pretty cure 5 if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially on next friday for patreons and next monday for everybody else for episodes 16 and 17 bye guys